In this video, I am going to show you how to do the DHCP reservation, DMS at configuration and port forwarding. Dragon Path 707 GR1 router. First, find the IP of the router using ncpa.cpl command. Then enter the IP of the router using web browser. We could find that 192.168.1.1 is the default IP of the router. Once after entering, use the username and password. The default username is admin. Default password is password. Once after login the router, find the DHCP. For doing this operation, we need to reserve the IP address. For that purpose, we need to find the MAC address from the LAN card. Or we can use IP config slash all for finding the MAC address, MAC address of the server. Here we have already find. Here we got the MAC address from the command. We are using that MAC address for reserving the IP for doing the port forwarding. For doing the IP reservation, we need to find the LAN, then press the DHCP, then Click the MAC based assignment. Enable the MAC assignment. Then paste the MAC address and put the IP address which we want to configure. Here I am using 192.168.1.5. Then press the assign IP button. Our MAC address is successfully added. Now we can close the toolbar. Then if you want to verify, we can verify. Otherwise, for applying these settings, press the apply changes button. Go to services. Find the DMS. Then enable DMS host button. Then type the IP of DMS server. If you are doing DMS in any IP address, the all port will forward to the particular device. If you are using the PC, all the port will be forward to that PC. If you are using any router, all the port will be forward to that particular router. Then press apply changes. Then press OK. Now the DMS is enabled. If you want to disable the DMS host, just press the disable button. Then apply changes. It will disable the DMS configuration. If you want to do the port forwarding, select the port forwarding from the firewall enable port forwarding in the application section we can see default ports are available if you are selecting that option it will configure that automatically with that particular ip if you have custom ports we can select manually here i am using custom option and using the type the local ip address local ip address means internal server ip address and local port means internal port which we want to access from outside this is a web server so i am using 80 as a port and if you want to use local port 2 means it's a range we can configure here i am using same port so i can use the same then select the protocol if you want to use both we can use both in this case i am using tcp then type the remote ip address here we can avoid avoid typing the remote IP address then type the remote port from that means if we are using a range of ports we can use from two options then press add button the port forwarding will be saved if you want to delete the port forwarding select the forwarded ports then press the delete button then press ok now the port forwarding has been deleted thank you for watching this video if you like the video please press the like button share and subscribe